Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Welcome to the class. Vamos a hacer unos minutos a los otros compañeros a ver si se unen, pues. Pero igual si hay preguntas o dudas estamos a la orden. Okay. It's kind of hot today, right? Repeat, please. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hot. It's, it's so, so. Ah, here it's very hot. I, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. In, in Santa Ana, uh, do, you, do you live in Santa Ana? But uh, in... Um, Maria, la pregunta. Tengo que intentar. <laughs> okay. Eh, San, why, why, where in the song of Santana City do you live? I live uh, in the entrance. Uh, if you come from San Salvador, the first thing that you will see is El Trebol. But if you go straight, if you do not turn right uh, and you go straight, you will see another neighborhood that is called Via Real, that is near a, a footbridge, uh, cerca de una pasarela. There is exactly where I live. Okay, it's, it's, it's straight to Aguachapan. Yeah, it's like that way, but it's exactly in Santa Ana. It's very, very close. I mean, it's in Santa Ana. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I. In my in my case, living um, here, cerca, ¿cómo se dice? Near. Here, Unicais here. Um, um, the, the, the correct address is Santa Isabel. Colonia, ¿cómo se dice? Neighborhood. Neighborhood. Ah, Santa okay. Isabel Neighborhood. So you lived here in Santa Ana before? All, all my life I live in Santa Ana. Really? And right now you live in Santa Ana or you live in San Salvador? No, I'm living in Santa Ana right now. Ah, okay. I thought that you lived in Santa Ana before and you moved to, to San Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I I go yeah, all the days go to the go try no try to see what go travel or to my work. I work in in Lourdes Colón. Lourdes Colón, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's very hard to travel. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the English class. Okay. <clears throat> uh, welcome, everybody. We are going to start the English class. Uh, and uh, of course, the first question is, how is everybody uh, doing with the platform? Everybody is in unit, uh, well, in section four, right? Or more? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I am in the section four. Section four. Very good. Very good. Nice. Yes, I, I in section four. Nice. Do you have any questions, any doubts, any comments? No. For the, for the moment, no. Okay. That is good. 
Okay, yesterday we were reading, well, we were starting the practice of the reading part. So that is the very first thing that we are going to do. So I'm going to show you my screen. So probably we're going to check for uh, some vocabulary. I remember that it was not that difficult. So it says Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in modern house. He's 11 years old and he's got an older brother. What is older, you know? Mm, mayor. Mayor, very good. Uh, and a younger sister. Younger is the opposite, do you remember? The yes. Antonin, okay. Yes. And then he starts his day about half past seven. Okay, about, what is about? Sobre algo. Cerca de alrededor. Half past seven, what is that? Pasado, las siete. Yeah. Siete y media, decimos nosotros. Okay, he gets up, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth. It's very important this part, as you can see the third person, right? He gets up, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth, and gets dressed. Uh, then he has breakfast, and at a quarter to eight, what is a quarter to eight? Very good. He leaves home and catches the bus to school. What is leaves home? Sale de su casa. Sale de su casa o deja su casa. Very good. Uh, classes begin. Do you remember what is begin? Inicio. Good. At half past eight, he usually has lunch at the school canteen. At uh, half past twelve. At uh, half past twelve, ¿cómo sería entonces? After school, at a quarter past five, he goes home. There, there he does school homework. And when he finishes it, he helps his mom laying the table. What is laying the table? Arreglar la mesa. Very good. Ponerla como para la cena. At half past seven, the family dines together. What is dines? Cena. Cena. Very good. Alfred is a very helpful boy. What is helpful? Saludable. Uh, sí, es como que ayuda mucho, ¿verdad? <clears throat> so he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner. And at about 10 o'clock, the must he brushes his teeth. Here is interesting. Uh, about 10 o'clock the most. What is that? 10 o'clock is la 10 en punto. Uh -huh. But all the phrase is about 10 o'clock the most. Mm. Mm. Más o menos a la 10 se lava los dientes. A la 10 lo máximo, lo más tarde, wow. the most. Okay, he brushes his teeth again, puts, puts on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Okay. Do you have any question before we do the reading? No. No. Okay, let's practice then. Um, Humberto, could you please help me reading first? Alfred, Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in mother house. He, he is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David and younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at about half past seven. He gets up, he, he gets up goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth, and get dressed. Then he has breakfast and, and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Classes begin, begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school content at half past 12. 
after school at a quarter past five. He goes home. There he does his school homework and when he finish it, he help his mom lie in the table. At half past seven, the family din diner together. Arthur is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watch TV for a while after dinner and about 10 o'clock. The most he brush, um, brushes, Okay, so your time, no more. I have a problem with my internet. Okay. okay. Um, brush it his dish again. Puts in his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to bed. His parent always gives him good night. Before he gets asleep, Arthur is a very happy boy. Very good, perfect, thank you. Jorge Hernandez, please. Okay. Uh, Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and younger sister, Emma. He starts his day about half past seven. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth and gets dressed. Then he has breakfast and a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past 12 after school and a quarter past five. He goes home. There he does his school homework. And when he finishes, it helps his mom lay on the table. At half past seven, the family dines together. Alfred is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother clean it up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while. After diner and about 10 o'clock, the most he brushes his, his teeth again, put on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to the bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets sleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Jorge Antonio, please. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day about half past seven. He gets up, go to the bathroom, take a shower, brush his, his teeth and get dressed. Then he has breakfast and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home at, uh, and catches the bus to school. Class begin uh, at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school. Canteen at half past 12. After school, at a quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his school homework. And when he's finished, it, he helps his mom lay in the table. At half past seven, the family dines together. Alfred is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother cleaning, cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually washes TV for a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock, the most he brushed his teeth again, put 
put on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to the bed. His parents always kiss him goodnight before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Edith Ramirez. Okay. Alfred is, a, is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at about half past seven. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth, and gets dressed. Then he has breakfast. In at, in at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past 12. After school at a quarter past five, he goes home. There he, he does his school homework. And when he friend finishes, when he finishes, it helps it he helps his his mom lay in the table at half past seven the family dines together alfred is a very helpful boy so he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner he usually watches tv for a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock the most he brushes his he stood again, put on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Okay, perfect, thank you. Uh, Juan Panameño. Alfred is American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. He 11 year old own, and he has got a older brother, Davis, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day about half past seven. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth, and gets dressed. Then he has breakfast. In a quarter to eight, he leaves home and clock the, the bus to school. Class begin at half past eight. He usually has lost in at the school counting at half past 12 after school. A quarter past five, he, ho he goes to go home. There he does high school homework and when he finishes, he helps his mom lady the table. A half past seven, the family Dines together. Alfred is very hell boy, very full boy. So he held his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner. And about 10 o'clock, the most he brushes his teeth again, put on his Spider Man pyjamas, and gets to bed. He parents always kiss him good night before he has us this. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Okay, uh, the next one is going to be Fabiola. Are you here, Fabiola? Okay, Erling Lainez. Okay, Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with this, his family in a mother house. He's 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at about half past seven. 
he get up, go to the bathroom, take a shower, brush his teeth and get dressed. Then he has breakfast and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to a school. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school county and half past 12. After school at a quarter past five, he goes home there. He does his school homework. And when he finish, he helps his mom laying the table. In a half past seven, the family dinners together. Alfred is a very helpful boy, so he helps his mother clean up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner. And at about 10 o'clock, the most he brushing his thing again, but when he's a Spider-Man pajamas, he goes to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Karen Melendez. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at, at about half past seven. He gets out, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth, and gets dressed. Then he has breakfast and at quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Classes begin at a half past eight. He usually has lunch and the school canteen at a half past 12. After school at a quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his school homework and when he finishes it, he helps his mom lying the table. At Half past seven, the family dines together. Alfred is a very helpful boy. So he, so, so he, he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner. And at about 10 o'clock the most, he brushes his teeth again, puts on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to the bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Uh, next one is Carlos Cruz. Alfred is an American boy. She lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with a family in a modern house. He is living in GO. And uh, he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts this day at about half past seven. He gets up, goes to bed, goes to bed, takes a shower, choose uh, his day, his tip, and get a bread. They he has breakfast and at water to eat. He leaves home and catch the, the bus to school. Class began at the half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past twelve. After school, at the quarter past five, she got home. Then he does his full home homework and what he finished. He has his mom. His mom lays the table. I have passed seven. The family is dining together. Alfred is a very, is a very helpful boy. So he has his mother cleaning up everything every night. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner. And about 10 o'clock, the mom, the mom still brushes me. It is again. Pushing to Spider-Man pajamas and got 
dog to bed. His parents, his parents always give him food the night before, uh, before he get a, a sleep. Alpha is American happy boy. Okay, thank you. Uh, Jose Lino, please. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at about half past seven. He grabs goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brush, brushes his teeth, and get dressed. Then he has breakfast, and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Classes begin at half, half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past 12. After school at quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his school homework and when he finishes, it, it he helps his mom laying the table. At half, Past seven, the family dines together. Alfred is a very helpful boy, so he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually touches TV for a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock, the most he brushes his teeth again, puts on his Spider-Man Pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss his good night before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Uh, let's see. Edith, no sé si usted ya leyó. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Emily Gonzalez. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day about half past seven. He gets up, get up, goes to the bathroom, take a shower, brushes his teeth, and get dressed. Then he has breakfast, and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school. No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Canteen. Canteen at half past 12 after school. At a quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his school homework. And when he finishes it, he helps his mom laying the table. At half past Seven, he, the family dines, dines. dines together. Alfred is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner. And at about 10 o'clock, the most he brushes his teeth again put on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to, to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep 
Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Gabriel Argueta. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He started his day at about half past seven. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes their teeth, and get dressed. Then he has breakfast, and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past 12. After school at a quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his school homework. And when he finishes it, he helps his mom lie on the table. At half past seven, the family dinners dines together. Alfred is a very helpful boy. So he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock, the most he brushes his teeth again, but on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss his mom good night before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Next is Vilma. Uh, pero antes de continuar, alguien me pregunta la pronunciación de well, la palabra. El verbo es dines, dines together. Pero cuando hablamos del nombre es dinner. That is the correct pronunciation. Vilma, are you here? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives he lives with his family in a mother mother house. He is eleven years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister Emma. He is he is star. His day at about half past seven. He get up, goes to the bathroom, take a shower, brush his teeth, and get dressed. Then he has breakfast um, at a quarter to eight. To eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Class classes begin at half past eight he usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past 12 12 school at a quarter past five he goes home there he does his school homework and when the and when and when he finished in the hell his moon light lighting the table at half past seven, the, the family dine, dinners together. Alfred is a very helpful boy. So he help, so he helped his mother clean it with everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner and about 10 o'clock. The most, the brush thing Again, again, put on his, his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always hit him go before he gets a sleep up. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Eileen Resinos. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. 
He lives with his family in a modern house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He starts his day at about half past seven. He gets out, goes to the bathroom, to the bathroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth, and get dressed. He then he has breakfast, and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Classes be, begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past twelve. After school. At a quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his school homework and when he finishes it, he helps his mom lying the table. At half past seven, the family dines together. Alfred is a very helpful boy, so he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock, the most he brushes if, thing, if he's teeth again, puts on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss him goodnight before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. And next one is Lilian. Hello, Lilian, are you here? Alfred. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Alfred is American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a mother house. He is he's 11 years old and he has what? An older brother, David, and younger sister, Emma. He is star. He start his day at about half past seven. He get up, goes the, to the bathroom, take a shower, uh, brush, brush his teeth, and get dressed. Then he has breakfast and a quarter to eight. He leaves home and catches. Uh, the bus to school. Classes begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch in the school canteen at half past twelve. After school at a quarter past five. He goes home. There he does he school. His school uh, homework, and um, when he finished, it helps his mom lying the table. At half past seven, the family dines together. Alfred is very, very helpful boy. So. He helped his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watch TV for a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock. Uh, the most he brushes is this again, puts on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss him good night before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Thank you. Uh, Jessica Aguilar. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He is 11 years old. And he has got an older brother, David, and younger sister, 
Emma. He start his day at about half past seven. He get up, go to the bedroom, takes a shower, brushes his teeth and get dressed. Then he has breakfast and at a quarter to eight he leaves home and catches the bus to school. Uh, clay, 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 clay begin at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school, continue at half past 12 after school. At a quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his school homework and when he finishes it, he helped his mom laying the table. At half past seven, the family dinners together. Alfred is a very helpful boy. So he helped his mother cleaning of everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner and about 10 o'clock. The most he brushes his teeth again, pats on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to bed. His parents always kiss him goodnight before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Katie Orantes. Hi, aquí estoy. Uh, Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with, with his family and a modern house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and a younger sister, Emma. He started his day at about half past seven. He gets up, goes to the bathroom, take a shower, brush his teeth and he gets dressed. Then he has breakfast at a Quaker to eight. He leaves home and catch the bus to school. Class begin at a at half past eight. He usually has lunch at the school canteen at half past twelve. After school at a Quaker past five. He goes home. There he does his school homework, and when he finishes, it helps his mom lighting the table. At house past seven, the family dines together. Alfred is a very helpful boy, so he helps helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. Dinner, dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner. And at about 10 o'clock, Tamash, he rose his sin, his teeth again, puts on his Spider-Man pajama and goes to, goes to bed. His parents always kiss him goodnight before he gets sleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Herman. Okay. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family in a modern house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and younger sister, Emma. He starts his day about half past seven. He has all goes to the bathroom, takes a shower, brush his feet, and get dressed. Then he has breakfast and at a quarter to eight, he leaves home and catches the bus to, to school. Just, just begin uh, at half past eight. He usually, usually has joined at the school canteen at half past twelve. After school at a quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his school homework and 
away his chili. It held it he held his own his mouth lying the table. At half past seven the family didn't dine together. Arthur is a very helpful boy, so he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner and about 10 o'clock, the most he brush his teeth again, put his Spider-Man Spider -Man pajamas and goes to the bed. His parents always kiss my, kiss him good night before he had to sleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect. Uh, Kathy Sines, please. Okay. Alfred is an American boy. He lives in Los Angeles, California. He lives with his family and mother house. He is 11 years old and he has got an older brother, David, and, and a younger sister, Emma. He has started his day at about half past seven. He gets up, um, goes to the bathroom, take a shower, brushes his teeth, and get dressed. Then he has breakfast and at a quarter to eight to leave home and catches the, the bus to school. <coughs> Classes begin at half past eight. Uh, he usually has a lunch at the school, counting at, at half past 12. After school at a quarter past five, he goes home. There he does his school homework and when and when he finishes, it help, it he helps his mom lying lying the lying the table. At half past seven, the family dines together. Alfred is a very helpful boy. So he so he helps his mother cleaning up everything after dinner. He usually watches TV for a while after dinner and at about 10 o'clock the most he brushes his teeth again put, uh, puts on his Spider-Man pajamas and goes to bed. His barring always kiss him goodnight before he gets asleep. Alfred is a very happy boy. Perfect, thank you. And I guess the last one is going to be Fabiola. Fabi Alvarado is not here. I guess she's not here. Okay. Uh, anybody's missing? I guess everybody read, right? Todos leyeron ya, ¿verdad? Okay. Do you have any question? Any question about uh, vocabulary or pronunciation? Remember that this one is uh, dinner and the other one is dines. Also, let's be careful about uh, plurals or S. For example, uh, he starts, um, he usually watches. With those, probably are the ones that you need to be careful. Okay, and we have another topic. This is an interesting topic. This is about prepositions. In English, prepositions are very, very important. And there are a lot of uses that you are going to have with prepositions. Well, first of all, we're going to check about uh, prepositions of place. So we have three that are very, very common, at, in, and on. So at, we're going to use at when you are speaking, referring to a point. For example, at the door, at the crossroads that are like the streets when they cross, right? The crossroads, at the traffic light. So that is like specific point, okay? Then we have 
uh, at the bottom, at the top, or at the end? Do you know what is at the top? Do you have an idea? The top is like arriba, sobre, hasta arriba. Bottom is the opposite, al fondo. Okay? End of sería como al final de, de algo. So, for example, we have at the top of the stairs. So, meaning that is going to be on the upside, right? At the bottom of the page. So, in a page, you can say at the bottom, at. The other one is going to be at the end of the street. That is, I guess, very common. At the end of the street. Also, we are going to use at for group activities. This is very important. At a party, at a concert, at the cinema. Okay. And the other one is when we're talking about school and university, it's always going to be school, I mean at. So it's going to be at school, at the university. And also when you refer to home and work, always is going to be at home, at work. And we're talking about, uh, when we're talking about stores, shops, we can also use at. So at the bakery, at the cafe, at the chemists, at the pharmacy, okay? I know that in Spanish we use en, para casi todo, ¿verdad? en la universidad, en la casa, en el concierto. But in English, there are different usages. So we need to remember this part. Do you have any question about at? No. Okay. The other one is in. So in is going to be used for a third, a 3D space, okay? Un espacio tridimensional. Yo sé que se oye bien raro esta clase en inglés, ¿verdad? Pero es como cuando está, bueno, veamos el ejemplo. In the back. O sea, que está dentro de. Okay, that is important. In the classroom, because it has uh, the, uh, the walls and the roof and things like that. In a box, that is a very good example. In, inside, in a box or in the box. Okay. When we're talking about territory, also we use in, in London, in Europe, in the Alps, in the world. Uh, when we're talking about cars or something related to cars, in the car, in a van, okay? When we're talking about any kind of water, in the sea, in a river, in a lake, in the swimming pool, okay? because you are inside, remember 3D. When you're talking about printed material in a book, in a picture, in the newspaper. I guess this one is easier. It's, it's like the more common, right? Do you have any questions about uh, in? No. Van se refiere al estilo de carro. Sí, una van. Una camioneta. Yeah. Okay, on. We're going to use on when we're talking about something that is in a surface. Do you know what is a surface? Superficie. Superficie. Sobre, right? So it's going to be on the table, on the carpet, on the roof, on the sofa. So if it's on a surface, we're going to use on. Also, when we're talking about floors in a building, on the first floor, on the fifth floor, but there is a mistake there, floor is it, okay? So it's not in, yo sé que en español decimos en el quinto piso, but in English it's going to be on, on the fifth floor. Uh, when we're talking about directions, right or left, we're going to use on, on the right on the left, for example. When we're talking about public transportation also, on the bus, on the train, on a plane. And also when we're talking about the media, for example, on the radio, on TV, on the internet, on a website, okay? 
So it's very important. Sometimes these little details makes a difference for somebody to understand something that you're saying. Okay, it's very, very important. Do you have any question about uh, on? No. Okay, we're going to do a little exercise, okay? Uh, before we finish the class, let me check here. Loading. Mm, hold on, it's not loading properly. Okay, here's it. Okay, so I'm going to show you, and you are going to tell me which one will be the right answer. Okay, so days of the week i guess that you know a little bit about that one right so it's going to be can you come uh-huh at in or on at. at everybody agrees at at okay i guess okay so at in or on it rains a lot. Uh huh. Is in. 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 Okay, everybody agrees that is in. My birthday is. Uh huh. On. Okay. On. Okay. On. On. Everybody? Yes. On. Okay. No. Uh huh. Somebody says like. Mm. <laughs> Number four, I usually get up. In. 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 Everybody at. agrees? Okay. At or in? At. 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 Okay. At. Uh, number five. I will meet her. In. 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 Everybody agrees? At. Okay. okay. We have one. In. At. Okay. At. The most of the people, they say in, so I'm going to leave in. Ya vamos a chequear, okay? Number six, we usually have lunch. At. Uh -huh. At. 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 Okay, at. Uh, we've got English. Um. 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 Okay, and uh, number eight, my grandfather died. In. On. In. In, right? Or on? In. 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 Okay. In. Number nine. Paul is in here. At. Um. At. 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 Okay. Almost everybody says at. Number 10. I'll be back. In. 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 Okay. In 10 minutes. Number 11. I'm going to Italy. In. 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 On. Oh my goodness. So it's in or it's on? On. On. In. On. In. On. Damas, quien damas. Okay. In. 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 Okay. I'm going in. to leave in. Let's see what happens. Okay. Number 12 it says, come and see us. On Christmas. At. On Christmas. On Christmas. On Christmas. At. At. On. At. On. 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 At. At. <laughs> okay, this is kind of difficult. En una de las puertas está el carro y en el otro nos llevamos una banana. At. On. At. 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 Okay. Bueno, veamos, aquí estamos aprendiendo. Something interesting happened. Can you see that here? Uh, you told me at Monday, and here you told me on Thursday. That is interesting. Is at or is on? It's the same situation. 
is on Monday. Veamos qué dice aquí la varita mágica. 83%. Sacamos 83%. ¿Qué está malo? This one is not correct. This one is on. When we're talking about the days of the week, it's going to be on all the time. Okay? Seasons is going to be in. When it's a date, it's going to be on. Okay? The rest, I guess, they are kind of good. And we have one more. This one is not correct. It's not at. It's, it's on. on. It's on. Okay. It's on because it's a date. It's a Christmas day. Okay. Okay, but it was very good. Very good. Tomorrow we're going to do another exercise so we can remember about uh, prepositions and we uh, get that a little bit clearer, okay? So before we finish, any question, anything, any comment? Uh, everybody's doing well in the platform, right? Teacher, perdón, yo tenía entendido que ad era para delante de la hora o para especificar fiestas. Estoy mal. Eso es correcto. At 11, for example. Or at a party. Uh, y, y Christmas no se cataloga como una fiesta. No, porque eso es no. una fecha. Ah, porque dice day. Uh, no es porque diga day, sino que como Christmas day es, se pasa en una fecha específica. Lo único que en ah. lugar de decir el 25 de diciembre decimos Christmas day. Ah, ok. Good. Any other question? Dicho, puede oh. compartir la presentación. Les puedo compartir las imágenes, con mucho gusto. Ok, perfecto. Very well. Sería mañana porque sigo con otras clases yes. después de esta, ok? So, ok. Any other question, any comments? No. Ok, my friends, so see you tomorrow. Uh, have a good night. It was a pleasure to be here with you. Bye, bye for now. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.